everyone. Well, the US Supreme Court decision has been delayed for a week. That's almost as long a delay as a Southern Rail train service. So in the meantime, let's talk about the Labour Party conference, which was held this past week in Liverpool. They were in Brighton last year, which frankly always came as a bit of a surprise to me, as there's not that many Brightons in the leadership, really. Anyway, there's much of what you'd expect, everyone out doing each other with speeches about how much more they hate money than everyone else and therefore why they should be given more money than everyone else. Um, there were also some student speakers who must have been studying theoretical physics and time travel because in spite of having been born in the mid to late 90s, had vivid memories of growing up during the Thatcher era and subsequently drew comparisons to Theresa May. Frankly, those comparisons probably play better with the Conservative Party members right now who are watching Boris Johnson's every move with excitement and anticipation. There are also comedy warm-up acts like Diane Abbott, who bizarrely forgot the phone number for the 999 emergency service, and following a breach of rules, an EU flag was removed from the floor because if you're flying a flag with yellow stars on it, they have to be on top of a red background, like Uncle Joe Stalin would have liked it to be. The main highlight of the Labour get-together was probably the much-publicised motion that Labour would commit to a, quote, people's vote on Brexit. A second referendum, indeed. But then John McDonnell clarified that it would simply ask deal or no deal. There would be no option to remain in the EU, and shadow Brexit Secretary Keir Starmer added that quote no one is ruling out the option to remain so it's a two-way vote with three options yeah. similar in the way to how Corbyn himself regularly polls not just behind Theresa May but also the don't know option and is therefore often third place in the two-horse race Anyway, so therefore we once again pivot to the competing Conservative Party conference in the next couple of days and ponder for yet another year, will Theresa May somehow make it out of it as party leader again? And whether people will focus on the letters dropping off the wall this time around or simply in Boris Johnson dropping letters into the Daily Telegraph. I personally don't know who to feel sorry for, really. The poor journalists who have to attend weeks of it or the voters who have to live with the consequences. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.